My name is Artemis Dolgan. what I went through it's uh not to brag about it but it was a pretty awesome experience with a lot of up and down and I'm gonna show you the struggle I'm gonna show you the poverty that I went through personally in Chicago and I don't know I just feel like doing it for my birthday it's very spontaneous I didn't plan on this we just I came here to see my brother to spend my birthday with my brother with my family with there's another guy that's coming here there's also my brother and I'm just gonna show you everything everything that I feel appropriate you know I'm also gonna go to uh, I'm a main gym and try to get a workout over there. So I'm gonna go for a little run up here. I used to come here and write poetry on acid, the crazy. I used to go up in Chicago downtown and I would drop some acid in the city. Look at the beautiful uh, area of the skyline. Probably one of the best skylines in the world for me personally. And I would watch the sun sunrise and then just write my things away. I was high as shit and I still am. Alright, so now, now we are done with the run. We're going to try to get an MMA gym. We had actually an appointment in one of the gyms where the guy flaked on us. So we're now, now we're going to try to get into UFC gym and uh, do some MMA. You know, warm up, move a little bit, hit the bag, hit the mat. And, uh, I'll just show you what I can do. i share with you who I am. A lot of you don't really know. You only see bodybuilding videos, me talking about this and that. But you've never really actually seen me in my real life. This is a video vlog, as I promised, with the UFC Gym MMA, by the way. Shout out to them, letting us train over here. Me and brother. There's another brother right there. Uh, we actually grew up together. in Uh in this little, little gym on the map. We used to wrestle. You know, Greco Roman wrestler. I was uh, in champ in my town, in my region. It was pretty good, but I just love to lift weights. And we all grew up. That's the other guy right there. Fucking Mike, it's Michaelo. <laughs> so he's actually pretty decent at wrestling and fighting. He was probably the best of us, the most technical guy. I was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not as flexible as he is. Look, he's fucking doing all this stuff. See that? <laughs> got it. You got it. He can knock you out from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.
We gotta keep rolling with our day. Show you Chicago. Show you where I used to live. A lot of you will be able to relate to that. Where I used to work. Construction, all that. I show you right now everything. It's actually yeah for a great treat because it's like a fucking real movie. I'll show you the places where I live, where I ate. This guy behind the camera. And him. We all live through the same shit, so I wasn't alone in that thing. I mean, for a little bit, but this too, they're always there, always. My little brother. <laughs> All right. But we just worked out the UFC gym, and now we're heading to really cool places in Chicago where I used to live, where I used to work. A lot of you will be able to relate to it and learn from it. And just know that you can't really, don't really have to stay there, you just gotta keep moving forward. So it was a pretty cool workout. You know, something very functional. My, as I said before, my workouts are changing and I'm really, really enjoying myself. So it'll be wonderful to show you the ghettos, you know, the areas where I used to live and hustle and uh, the cars I used to sell. I'm gonna go show you as much as I can. It's a really cool part of, uh, of the town that people don't really see and don't have to experience unless you're that guy that lives there. So let's roll. Alright guys, we are, are okay. Can you see me nicely now? Not, my face is not too big. Uh, okay, I promised you, this is a, I was promised to take you around, starting with music by the way. Jim Morrison was one of the stages when I used to live in, in Chicago, like what later stages I would say. Uh, I can probably split my living in Chicago in three stages, like when I was looking for a job here, show them the gas station we're gonna come back tomorrow like around six seven o'clock so you can see how many laborers are still so many years that are hanging out over here i probably will gonna see the same faces some of them you know people that are looking for a job here they would have a library van to come in and you know and i would run to it and say hey man i'm looking for a job the brazza the brazza and i actually this is where i learned how to speak polish and you know i remember particularly one day i was sitting here looking for a job and i saw that like very wealthy looking Polish guy pulled in an Alexis. You know, people are saying that he won a lot or something and bought that Lexus, like a truck. And I was like, man, holy shit, like, what it takes to have a car like that. And I always want, like, I always imagine myself with a car. I end up having that car later on when I start dealing cars, but uh, it'd be pretty, pretty sick. And 
Now I'm gonna show you the first place we moved in uh, on Kedzie and uh, Kedzie, right? Yeah, it's Kedzie. Kidding. Kidding, right? Yeah, Kidding with Kedzie was a uh, house and I used to sell cars up there. Yeah, but we're gonna show you the place where I used to live uh, for the first time when I just moved to, uh, to, to Chicago. I used to live in Kidding over there in Belmont and Cicero. It was a really old house and it was pretty nasty. Uh, I lived in the balcony, I slept on the floor, and I'm gonna show you the house where it was. And I used to walk all the way from there, from Bowen and Cicero, to the first train station, all the way there. And I'm gonna do another move, and I said that before, that you have to work for your vision, not for money. So, I just didn't really know exactly what I want to be, a rector, a writer, an engineer, but I just knew that I had to fucking get out of, get out of it. And, I'm better, more, more, more money. It's another fucking special cheese for me to come back here. It's mind blowing, mind blowing because I was such a cool, like I was such a kid. I was such a kid when I was living here. And uh, we used to come here in this 20s was a grocery store. And this is where I used to shop. And uh, yeah, it was very cheap. We used to buy 99 cents donuts. And we used to, it was 10 donuts in there in a pack. We used to split them. I remember how we were arguing for one donut because it wasn't evenly split. For three people, you know what I'm saying? So that was uh, <laughs> that was funny. And this is a, a China shop. This place had a, a very basic wireless. You know what I'm saying? I used to come here with my big computer and I used to sit there eat China. That I mean, like I'm not just used to like, that place is disgusting. That food is fucking awful, but it tasted so good to me. I don't know. It was the same thing here. Like we, that's all we would what brought our groceries here. If you know that you're going somewhere that you're not settling for this, you you gotta keep rolling. Nothing has changed in the streets and nothing ever will, I guess, for maybe another hundred years. This is the house, this is where I used to live, I used to chill. Right there, right here. My brother was, this is my brother's balcony. He used to rent this part of the balcony. It was just much nicer. And I know he's a younger kid, so I got him to that. And uh, that was it. I used to sit here and uh, eat pizza, uh, Little Caesars. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that window is actually a room and over here is a balcony uh, it used to be a they, they remodeled this a little bit but it used to be a, a hole over there for the AC so we just is it rolling? okay so we just keep going through that Chicago to the places that meant the world to me the man that's behind this camera my brother First day in America, very first days he landed in Chicago. We came over here, we came to celebrate his arrival. And we celebrated here in Little Caesars. We bought some pizza, pepperoni and whatnot and sausage. And I remember a fucking Mountain Dew. Not even fucking diet, regular Mountain Dew. That's how <laughs> I used to live. But I used to eat. That shit tasted like a five-star restaurant. I swear to God, that was great. We're gonna keep rolling and show you the places where I used to like, you know, have like a chop shops and you know, selling cars in the hood. There was like already another stage, you know, in Chicago. I just, as I said, I went through like three major stages in here and there was like another chapter, but we're gonna keep rolling and keep showing you things. And uh, as I said before, some people can relate to this and I'm sure you're enjoying it. But this is the dealership right here and right here. And these people used to get robbed with a gunpoint. And I used to drive here every fucking day with my car and the bumper sticking out of the windows because I used to go get the parts way more south over there. But there was a chop shop um, on Lake. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what this place was. But I want to take you through this hood because it is really like you know, it, it's not it's not for everyone. You know, to to be confident in this hood and to be able to run your errands and not give a fuck about what's going on around you, all the gangs and you know what I mean. It, it is full of it. It is really is full of it, especially this area. You know, and the cops here are fucking gnarly. They will pull you over. They will fuck your life. They fucking searched us like up and down all the car, trunk, under the car, like under, under everything, like just our pockets. And uh, this is like in Cicero. This is the spot where I used to come and uh, fix my cars. I think this we have to turn not left. We have to turn right over there. So I'm gonna bust the other one. I have to make a U turn somewhere around here. Oh, this is uh, another town, another place where I used to 
this way here. To get in here, you have to honk a certain way. Uh, it's like a chop shop in there. There's a bunch of cars, and I used to do a lot, of, all kinds of stuff in here. And we used to just fix them here, take them to the car wash, detail them, and sell them. And you know, I learned a lot, and, and I put in a lot of work in here during the fucking you know minus Celsius degrees, and it was pretty cool that we run around here with the wrench or you know pliers and get the parts that I needed. I mean, I've done a lot of different things, but it, you know, it was a hustle. It really was a hustle, and it never stopped. And it, you know, as I said before, I went through different stages in Chicago, and this was one of the last ones I you know actually built a little bit of capital to move to California, which I ended up losing everything. But it is what it is. We gotta keep rolling. I'll show you the spots where I used to sell cars. So, business as usual. I'm still used to this thing because there is another cop. All right, guys, here it is. Addison and Pulaski. There's still someone selling cars over here. So, the worst thing happened. The tire went flat. Uh, the road is so bumpy. It's all profile, profile fucking tires. And it just bumped the fucking the whole summer in here. So, we have, to, we have actually 12 minutes to shop. They should take care of us. But it's not the case. I have an appointment for a restaurant at 8 30 in a restaurant. I still had to put my suit on and I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But I did I wanted to do this vlog to show you guys um, just to share with you my life. Here's the thing, that, that we popped the wheel on our beamer uh, while we were driving in the hood, so we were forced to leave it behind and Somebody's fixing the tire. They're gonna bring the car back because they want to have a long night. And uh, we're going to a really cool place to have a dinner with two of my brothers. His wife, very small, very quiet. I want this birthday to be very productive. And this is uh, this is my suit I'm wearing tonight. So I'm not sure later how it looks, but now I'm gonna change. This is it. This is my birthday outfit. That's gonna be my night. Thank you guys so much for digging in. I'm gonna keep on. So I haven't slept yet since uh, yesterday morning. This is my birthday, I decided to just roll all night. And I wanna do some morning cardio and jump in the lake. And I wanna do this polar bear run that Julian Smith started in San Diego. And I told him I was gonna do it and I'm gonna jump in the lake. The lake is pretty cold right now, I don't wanna do it, but it will be fun. It will be a great way to end the weekend. I mean, the celebration of my birthday. What's up guys? I wanted to sum up this uh, this video vlog that I did for my birthday here in Chicago to share with you a little bit of my life. It was, it was fun. It was fun to do something like this. Uh, I didn't jump in the lake like that for a little while, a long while. I'm heading back to LA. I want to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Subscribe and I'll see you again.